Hello everyone, Grandmaster Stitch Stitcher and welcome back to the Sidstail. We're going to be doing something a little bit different today, as on Tuesdays and Thursdays I either have a day off or I upload something a little bit different from our Game of Thrones Crusader Kings 2. So I just fancied playing a little bit of Total War, so we're going to be playing Medieval Total War 2, the Age of Petty Kings mod. And we're going to be playing as House Stark. So... When Prince Devran Lannister arrived at Winterfell with his small band of knights, King Eddard chose to invite him in. Hearing the Devran's flight from his kingslain brother in the south, Eddard pledged to help Kevran bring the madman to justice and claim his rightful throne. How this would be accomplished was never quite specified. Devran has married King Eddard's sister and has promised that upon his arrival the Lords of the West shall rally to his cause. Still, these southern ambitions may have to wait. The Boltons of the Dreadfort are staring for war alongside the Dustins to the south. The Umbers of the last half have chosen to march south on the Dreadfort, but allies of Winterfell they are not. And as their influence with the Mountain Clans grows, conflicts may be inevitable. Finally, the new Lord Commander of the Night's Watch bears a grudge towards the flints of Breakstone Hills and may abandon his vows to march south, leaving the Wall and the Realm undefended. The Wolf and the Lion may have joined together, but their success is far from certain as the North descends into open war and winter is coming. So yeah, we're going to be playing as House Stark. This is one of the best Game of Thrones Total War mods in my opinion. Some of the newer ones obviously look nicer, but I think this is the most polished and complete one. It's not really had an update for quite a while though, which is a shame because it's such a good mod. So we are in charge of Winterfell. Looks like we've got quite a few levies around Winterfell. We've also got Castle Kerwin, Torrin Square, Deepwood Mott, Woodfort, and Mormont's Keep. Ah, so this is when the Woodforts owned Bear Island before the Iron Islands took it, and the Mormonts are over here by the looks of it. So, yeah, Carl and Mormont. If we've got any other cat, oh, and we've also got the Wolf's Den. So, this is long, long before the Mandalays came to the north. So, White Harbor does not exist, and it's just the Wolf's Den, which is the old castle, which is used as a prison, I believe, isn't it? Or a dungeon by um, the Mandalays. But at this time, it's the Wolf, there's just a Stark, and I'm sure. Yeah, the Grey Starks, which is like a cadet branch of House Stark, rule from here, who I believe joined the Boltons in a rebellion at one point. But the Car Starks have not been founded yet by Carlon Stark. So we own quite a bit of a chunk of the north down here, where I'm showing. So obviously we've got the Boltons to the east, Umbers to the north, Dustins to the south. Right, so let's see what we can do. We've got a harbour up here so at least we've got one harbour oh no we've got one down at the wolf's den as well right let's have a look what sort of units we've got here in winterfell ah we have got a princess let's see if we can send her to negotiate with the umbers see if we can get some sort of alliance with them to keep them out from attacking us what have we got here adam the raffle Roderick Cassell, so the Cassells are still about, and then Devrin, heir to the north, who's a Lannister, and some Westerland knights, okay. Winterfell, we've got a few levies, but let's upgrade the castle, shall we? Let's add a... Oh, we've got a Godswood, right. What what can we do? Well, let's uh, get hunting rights, just because it's a nice, easy, quick one to get for most of the castles up here, hunting rights. And he takes one turn, I believe, so we'll do that first. Uh, Torrent Square, let's do the hunting rights here. Wolf's Den, and that's all our castles, I believe. Right, so looks like the Wolf's Den is probably the most exposed to bolted territory. So let's recruit a few more men here. We could get some Wintermore Warriors. Should I just get some levies? We've got some levies there already. Let's get another unit of levies. Some archers to help defend the wall if we get under siege. And pikemen. I absolutely love pikemen in this game. Easily my favourite unit. Very useful. What have we got at Castle Kerwin? This might be susceptible to the east as well. So let's get another unit of archers in there. We'll go for a unit of pikemen and some levies as well. Just to mix it up a little bit. Give us a bit more of a better defence up there. I'm guessing Deepwood might be pretty safe. Oh, we've got... Oh, we've got a spare Glover. Is there a Glover in Deepwood Mutt as well? Yes, it looked like there was. Yeah, Arnulf Glover, and then we've got a second Glover. So we'll bring him down to Winterfell. We might be able to start a bit of an army, build an army up with him. Torren Square, is that safe? We do have the Dustins to the south, so we should probably bulk up 
the army here as well just to be safe let's get some more archers levies and pipe men we'll go for the same and then in our capital winterfell we'll go for some more advanced units if i can click on bloody winterfell it's not letting me go right here we go oh we'll get a diplomat we could do with a diplomat what have we got already we've got a couple of pipe men and some wintermore warriors let's go for some winterfell cavalry which are fairly expensive but they'll be very useful and we'll go for We'll go for another unit of pipe men because, like I said, I do love the pipe men. They are absolutely brilliant. We'll leave uh, that as it is and we'll leave the Mormont keep. Oh, did we do the hunting rights here? No. I forgot about that one. But we'll leave them as they are for now because they're quite distant. Um, yeah, I think we'll leave it there for now. You can go up. There's rebels in the mountain clan, so they're free. So they're a nice, easy area to pick off earlier. And we can add the mountain clans to our domain before the Umbers and Night's Watch do, because the Night's Watch always attack south. Right, so let's end turn for now, just so we can get things set up. Oh, okay. A suitable prince, Cregan Nuri. Uh, no, because we are planning on hopefully marrying our daughter off. Ah, take a rebel settlement. And that is one of the mountain clans. So, yeah, we'll definitely go for that. Let's get Glover over here and we can build a little force for him to hopefully go and attack. Who have we got here? Ah, that's the actual, the actual king isn't, isn't in the castle then by the looks of it. I'm going to be his. Shall we send the Lannisters with Glover or should we leave him here? Got quite a few commanders. Let's merge them with the castle for now. At least they're safe in the castle if we are to get attacked. And it bulks up the numbers for a siege. And we've got the Lannister here. Um, should we send him off somewhere else with a different army? Or should we send him north with the Glovers? Two units of archers with the Glovers there. Let's send... We best build some more men out, haven't we, first then? Should we get some siege works building? Yeah, we'll build some siege works at Winterfell. And we will also go with some archers. Some more pikemen. And just some cheap levies. We can send them to go and attack the mountain clans then. Oh, let's carry on sending our daughter up into the Umberlands. We'll go to the last half. Oh, what we got here? Family member John the Elder. Ah, we are close enough as well. Select mission target. John the Younger. John the Elder, John the Younger, instead of Small John and Great John. Marry that general. Can we do it? We'll find out in the next turn. We've still got a bit of money to spend, so we should probably upgrade something else. Should we... We'll bulk up the defences. Oh no, we need to build a heart tree. And I don't know why we haven't got God's Woods and heart trees in these oh i forgot to do hunting rights there i don't know why we've not got god's woods and heart trees in these places they should all have it really in the north shouldn't they but we'll get that out of the way here we go some god's wood and the wood fort as well go for a god's wood there just because they're free and easy god's wood torrent square god's wood don't think i missed one winterfell should already have it shouldn't it yet building the siege works already done the recruitments where should we rec recruit more men is Castle Kerwin looks fairly secure and we are close by at Winterfell so we can send reinforcements if that comes under danger. So we will bulk up the Wolf's Den instead. What have we got? We've got two units of archers, some cheap levies. We'll go for another unit of pikemen. And, hmm. We'll go for another unit of archers. We won't bother with any ships for now. Most of our fighting is going to be on land, isn't it? So we won't worry about that too much. And let's end turn once again. Hope you're all having a great day, guys. And I hope you enjoy this. Just something a little bit different. It might not be for all of you, but... Oh, Bowen Marsh. Nope. Yeah, it might not be for all of you who are obviously like the Crusader Kings playthroughs that we do. But I just thought I'd do something a little bit different. Where did that Umber lad go? Is last half going to be up here or will it be down... Might be up here. We're going to have to march around, aren't we, to get to the last half. Ah, there's the Umber Air. Okay. And a Rebel Armour. What's in this Rebel Armour? Wildlings. Okay, so some Wildling Raiders have got past the wall. Right, I've got enough. Oh, we've got our Diplomat as well. Let's send you south. 
get some diplomacy on the move down south, some trade rights, get some money. Right, what can we send with Glover? Let's send... We'll send Cassell and Adam the Wraithful with him. And we're going to need some men so that we can actually win that siege up there. So let's send some Wintermore Warriors. Some Wintermore Levies. We don't need archers. I've already got a unit of archers. We're going to need more men than that. So we'll recruit a few more here. Let's recruit another archer. And some levies. There we go. And we'll... What have we got at Deepwood Mott? Let's send some Wolfswood levies to join him as well. We want to keep Torrent Square defended and Castle Cohen, so we'll end, end the turn for now. Not a lot we could do on that turn. It looks like the House Umber Capital may be up here, because there's a lot of Umber movement going on up here. They're pushing back them Wildling Raiders by the looks. Yep, there we go. They've got rid of them Wildling Raiders. Oh, there's a Bolton Force on the way to Castle Kerwin by the looks of it, and a Dustin Force on the way to Torrens Square, so we've got to be careful about those. Absolutely love the Age of Petty King and Andal Invasion like time period. I really hope we get more about it in the future. There we go, that's bought that army up. Now where are those Wintermore levies? And we'll send a unit of pipe men with him as well. That might be enough now that we can march forward and get the Mountain Clans under siege. It looks like the Umbers are on their way there as well, so we've got to look out for that. Let's see if we can try and marry more Zumba. Okay, so he's accepted. So can we now... Where's my diplomat gone? Let's see if we can form an alliance with House Umber now that we've married our princess to him. Hopefully we're not going to regret that. Do you know what? Let's send the Lannister lad with him as well, just to bulk up that army a little bit more, just to make sure we get the mountain clans. And where's that? Oh, the Boltons have got the Wolf's Den under siege from sea. So they've blockaded our port. Won't need to worry about that too much. I might build. Let's build a little galley up here actually. On the wood fort. And we'll build a couple of units here as well. Let's build some wolf's wood leather. And we hopefully then can ferry that reinforcement over to the siege there in the mountain clans. So let's end the turn. What's that there? That looks like a Stark force up. Ah! Have we actually gained him as part of our army now? That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Trade rights. Yes, we will trade with you, Umbers. And can we form an alliance? It's very demanding, apparently. Okay. And we'll give you map information for an alliance. How about that? Rejected. About an alliance, a map information, and hmm, we've not really got any money to give him, so that's not going to help. We will attack. What about if we attack the rebels for you? That could work, maybe. No, not interested. Fair enough. At least it'll hopefully keep the umbers from attacking us. They're off to the wall, by the looks of it. Yeah, they're off to the Mountain Clans. That's the thing. You have to really scramble for the Mountain Clans quickly before it gets taken by the Night's Watch Wildlings or the Umbers. not played this mod in such a long time. I remember when I first discovered it, I played the hell out of it. Sunk hours and hours and hours and hours into it. Oh, Bri presented Betrothed Darwin, Kerwin. Uh, yes, then we can get a couple more Kerwins breeding, can't we? There we go. We've got our first merchant ship. Let's get up here to attack that rebel castle we may as well send our di diplomat back south then if they're not interested in forming an alliance ah so we have actually got moore's umber here now awesome let's bring him down south keep him away from the umbers up there and let's start marching some of these men i'm going to do all of them onto the ship to be fair because I don't see anyone attacking the wood fort so we may as well send all those men to be back up at Wolford Moot not really got any money to spend so we'll end our turn for now once we take a few more settlements hopefully we'll get a bit more money okay the Boltons 
are hanging around. They're building a bit of a force up by the looks of it. So we're going to have to keep an eye on this Bolton force that's um, starting to grow at the Wolf's Den. Okay, House Dustin. What are you up to? Because we're at war with you. So your diplomat isn't going to do anything really, is he? Harmon Glover. Jury Nuret. Yeah, okay. We'll marry to you. It gets... Okay, Moat Kaelin is just in. Can we... I doubt they'll sue for peace, but we'll try. Just in case. They never accept, but... It's worth a try. Right. Let's get the men on shore, and we'll ban them. No. Ah! Where have you gone? Merge with them. There we go. And then you attack the Wolford Moot. There we go. We've got a decent amount of men there. Should we just sail back? Yeah, sail back for the start of docks for now. We can soon get you out if needed. And we'll end turn there. Okay, there's a fairly big umber force by the looks of it marching down past Long Lake. Okay, half the bolt the Bolton force are now marching off. Hopefully the Wolf's Den's too strongly defended for them. I don't know what that ship's up to. It just keeps leaving and then attacking. Okay. Our diplomat. Oh, is that the house? House Mud Diplomat. Trade rights House Mud. I do love House Mud, as you guys know. Barely accepted. An alliance, maybe? Oh, awesome. We've got an alliance of House Mud. Perfect. Military access, maybe? Rejected. Don't want to push it too far, but we actually managed to get something off them. Moke, so Moke Kaelin would be good to take because it's the only way into the north unless you've got ships. Obviously, as I'm sure many of you guys will know as Game of Thrones fans, and I'm assuming you are Game of Thrones fans, so she won't be watching this. Right, let's just build a couple of battling rams and maintain the siege. Surrenders in four turns, but we need to take it. I want to take it quicker than that if possible. Let's get the Umbalad down here to Winterfell. But yeah, it'd be nice to take it quicker than that so we can try and take a couple more of the rebel settlements before the Umbers take them all. Alliance, okay. We're in debt as well now, but we'll sort that out once we take a few places. I'm worried where all these Umber men are marching off to down south. Don't want it to come be between swords. Okay, he's still marching down. Right, we could assault there, but I don't want to... Let's just have a look at our other options first. Keep coming to Winterfell, please, Lord Umber. And we'll keep sending you down south. Oh, a Mouton. We'll go with trade rights, please, with House Mouton. Barely accepted. Awesome. And then we'll send you... Let's send you up into the Vale. Try and get an alliance with House Royce, if we can. First men houses. What we got here a little rebel armor. Don't know what they are. Well, we'll go for the assault. We've got our battling rams ready, so let's assault, and it'll be our first battle of the series. We could. It's not going to be much of a battle, is it? So I will automatically resolve this. I'll save the bigger battles. There we go. We've took Wolford Moot. We will. Influx of nobility because we get a decent amount of money for that. We've also had a mission success. We've been awarded with four units of Wintermoor Cavalry. Oh, wow. Wicked. That's a lot of cavalry. Right. Let's take everybody. But who should we leave here? We'll leave. Let's leave Adam the Raffle as the general here. And we'll march on to Breakstone Hall and try and take that. Can't recruit anything at the minute because we're still in debt. More Zumba's still on his way. Awesome. Look at all that cavalry we've got cavalry we've got now. That'll definitely come in handy. What's going on here? Currently constructing buildings. Okay. End turn yet again. Obviously, our target for this series is going to be to try and take all the north and get it under stark control. Ah, oh, no, the Umbers have beaten us to Breakstone Hill. We're going to have to go around and try and take one of the other ones then instead. That's annoying. See, it, it, it's like a mad scramble at the beginning of the game for those rebel settlements. So you've got to try and take them as quickly as you can. 
I'm sure there is another one hanging around here somewhere, so we'll try and find that. Oh, no, they've already took them. Wow, they have took them ridiculously fast. Wow, I won't expect them to take it that fast. So we've only managed to get one of those settlements. You march around up here. There might be another one up in the mountains. I can't remember. We've missed out big time there. I can't believe how quickly they've took them. Rebel army. Let's send our diplomat up into the lands of the Vale. And end turn. Very disappointed how, how fast they've took a hold of all of those um, rebel lands. Get some decent clansmen up there as well. Some decent units. Who's this Dustin Diplomat? What's he playing at? Suitable husband. Theon Risewell for Aya Serwin. Yep, okay. There are foreigners almost at our very gate. Okay, so you want me... Okay, we're going to send him over there instead then now. So that we can get that mission and get whatever we'll get off that. Might be a little bit of money or... What was it? What's the reward? Some military units. Awesome. Right, let's try and march around there and see if there's anything of use there. Wildling Navy. Okay, it's a bit of a worry. Might try and build a... Of another force up so that we can go and attack some of the Boltons or Dustins, maybe. Let's have a look. Let's send Theon Risewell and our cavalry out in the field just to do a bit of scouting. Let's go and have a look at the Bolton lands. They'll be able to move fast as cavalry. In a lot of debt. <laughs> Night's Watch Navy's pursuing the Wildling Navy. It's interesting. I don't know if there's any more castles up. There might not actually be any more castles up here, but we'll find out. Yep, let's go do some scouting over the bridge. Let's see what we've got. Right, there's a big Bolton force on its way west. Wow. Right, so at least now we know that that's there. Let's retreat a little bit. I'm guessing it's the Blackwoods that we it wants us to. It's good to see awesome. Right, um, let's send you off west into the Westlands now that we're over here. Then what did we get? Two units of Wintermore archers at your capital. Yeah, that will do. It helps defend it. Well, we've got a lot of archers there now. It help defend it if that um, Bolton force just decide to come over to the west, which it looks like it is. Very annoying at the start, just trying to set everything up, trying to get your armies ready. A lot of debt, but we'll get all that back pretty soon. Once we start losing men and getting into battle, our economy will recover. Oh, awesome, we've just been rewarded 3,000 florins, okay. Let's have a look, is there another... Doesn't look like there is another castle up here, which is a real shame. That's very annoying. We'll just have to march around and back south then, won't we? And uh, start attacking some Boltons. Shame that we've not got the money to build some siege works, but never mind. Blackwood Castle. Can we form an alliance with a... No. It's another Blackwood one, but let's go looking for those Lannister and House Rain settlements that are down there somewhere. Cool thing about it, if you play as the Wildlings as well, you do get the uh, others, uh, Rebel Faction, that are the others and uh, the Whites that attack you, which is really cool. You also get Mammoths as well if you play as the Wildlings. The Wildlings are a fun faction to play as. Okay. Awesome. We'll get an easy five. Well, it's only 500 Florence, so it's not a lot, but... What is it you wish to discuss? Trade rights, please, House Lannister. Oh, did I not do it? I, my lord. I just cancelled it, I think, by accident, didn't I? Oops. We'll do it next time. I, my liege. Yep, keep mark. Ah! Oh, it's a Knight's Watch hold fast, so they've already took it from the Rebels. Damn it. I, my liege. 
no, don't attack a faction that's innocent to us. Really worried about that. Oh, that's a smaller Bolton armor. Okay. Retreat to our side of the bridge for now. I want to keep you close by in case that Bolton army crosses the bridge. Right, it's one unit of cavalry, so let's get rid of them. Automatic resolve. That'll be an easy victory for us. And we'll execute the imprisoned as they're Boltons. And we'll come back over the other side of the bridge. Keep that safe. Accepted. There we go. And uh, let's go up here because the reins will be up here. And then we can hopefully get trade rights with the reins as well. 500 florins ain't much, but it will get us a new mission at least, which will hopefully be a bit better. Right, where's our main army up here? Come on, start marching down and get get to these Boltons. Night's Watch armor. The Night's Watch does get ridiculously powerful at one point when they decide to start attacking people. And they've got some pretty decent units as well. What are these Umber and Dusting Diplomats just doing standing outside Winterfell? Take Rebel Settlement on the Sisters, eh? Uh? Well, I've not got any money to build any ships, and it will take way too long for our other ships to get round there, so I don't think that's going to be possible. Umber armor, neutral, but it's marching right into Stark territory, so I am a bit worried about that. Come on, you, start marching down the King... Well, King's Road doesn't exist yet, does it? But start marching down, back towards Winterfell, and we'll go and attack the Boltons. You stay where you are. Where are you? Where's my diplomat? Trade rights, House Rain? How about that? Seems like a most reasonable deal to me. Farewell, then. And let's carry on marching down to the Tarbex. Yes, of course, sir. Yes, sir. End turn. Wow, we're in a hell of a lot of debt. We really need to start taking some settlement. What is he, that Umber army, doing outside Winterfell? Is it going to attack us? Yes! Okay, the Umbers have declared war on us. We must stand with courage, men. Okay, House Umber, I see how he is. We'll take you out first, then. Alright, so the Umbers have declared war on us. As we've got a decent-sized army up here, I don't know if to just go straight for the last half. We'll take their capital, and it's fairly weakly defended by the looks of it. So we will be able to take it. And their king is there as well. King Horfa Bloodfist. So we will march on the last half. If they're going to attack our capital, we'll attack theirs. It's not even a big army that's attacking us. So that seems like a very silly thing to do to declare war on us. But more than enough men there to sort them out. In fact, we'll send our cavalry over to automatically resolve this battle. Easy victory. Executed as they refuse to pay the ransom. We'll move our knights back out of the way a little bit. Oh, we lost lost a fair few knights there. Let's merge these units together. We'll disband that unit of seven. May as well. But I'm going to end the first episode here, guys. So thank you all so much for watching. In the next episode, we will attack the last half and hopefully take it away from the Umbers. And then we can give that to our own Moors Umber, who's married to our daughter or younger sister, whatever it was. And then we can hopefully start sorting out the Boltons as well. Thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you did enjoy this. And hopefully I'll see you very soon for my next video.